I am ZS Caravalla from ZK Research and I'm here to do another ZK tour. I'm here live inside the exhibit hall at Adobe Summit 2023. This is the first live Adobe Summit uh, or in-person one uh, since 2019. Uh, there's lots of great partners in here. I'm gonna go take a look at a company called Content Square uh, that I know works pretty closely with Adobe, helping them understand the, all the data that customers are collecting today and being able to humanize that data a little bit better. So uh, let's go in, I'll talk to a couple people, we'll have a look around and see what they're demoing. All right, I'm here now at the Content Square booth inside the Adobe Hall, uh, Expo Hall, uh, with Sam Counterman from Content Square. Uh, Sam, why don't you say hi, just tell, tell us a little about what you do and what Content Square does. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, my name's Sam Counterman, I'm the VP of uh, Brand and Growth at Content Square. Um, you know, truthfully, I've probably got the best job in the company because I get to use my own product, you know, on our own website every day. So this is wonderful for us. That's <laughs> awesome. So, so what does Actus Content Square do? So Content Square goes beyond that kind of like traditional uh, analytics in terms of like, you know, website. Uh, it takes down that extra layer of like, you know, you know, when you kind of think about Adobe Analytics and other analytics providers, it gives you that sense of like, kind of like what's happening between the clicks. That it's all about that user behavior on site, you know, whether they're having a good experience, a bad experience. And ultimately, it just gives, you know, marketers, all different types of personas, lots of different insights that, that helps them priorities to deliver ultimately a better experience online. Yeah, and I've seen lots of your uh, billboards and stuff around cities yes. talking about humanizing the, the digital experience. What does that mean? I think that's all about just being like, you know, very sort of transparent in terms of like, you know, the type of insight that you can like provide people. Uh, it's all about keeping it, you know, as like as simple as possible, really. You know, I think, you know, when you, when you kind of take a step back and you think about the, you know, the macro situation, we as consumers, you know, we've been kind of spoiled for choice with yeah. uh, technology evolutions and all that stuff. And we want information quicker, faster, better, basically. Uh, and when we don't get that, we become frustrated and we have a bad customer experience. So you, the mission of kind of like providing more human analytics is to you know, try and provide it in a very, very human way for brands to take action and ultimately deliver really good experiences for their customers. Yeah, in fact, one of the interesting data points in my research is last year, uh, two thirds of millennials admitted they changed loyalties to a brand because of one bad experience. And I'm sure you see that all the time. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if you take, you know, each year we put out our benchmark report um, you know, and this year, you know, we brought in some new type of like, um, you know, what we call kind of frustration insights. You know, so classic example, you know, when you think about, you know, one in three website visitors has a bad experience. Yeah. You know, from like poor load speed on a page or an application, all the way through to rage clicking. These are things that really frustrate us as consumers. And yes, we will take action and we will brand hop when we don't get what we want. Yeah, well, it seems uh, you play a pretty important role today. I know over the last, you know, few years, we're back here live at Adobe, we, you know, last time this event happened was 2019 because the pandemic, yep. and then we just rushed to digitize everything. Right? And I almost think that maybe companies swung the pendulum too far mm. and taught, forgot about people. Yes. Because right? not everybody can have the same experience. Okay, well, so like I said, we are here at Adobe, and uh, you are showing some, maybe some interesting stuff there. Should we go in and have a look around? Yeah, let's go and check it out. Okay, let's go take a look at your demo, thanks. Sure. So I'm inside the Content Square booth now with Nick Schneider from Content Square. Uh, why don't you say hi and tell hey, us what everybody. you do. Nice to meet you. I run a solution consulting for Content Square on the western part of the United States. Okay, and from what I understand, you're showing here some actual interoperability with the Adobe Suite, correct? Yeah, that's right. So what are you gonna, what are you gonna show us here? Yeah, so I'll show you guys a couple of things. What's really powerful about Content Square and the way we integrate with Adobe is Adobe's fantastic at what it does and how Content Square as a supplement is really help organizations understand why things happen the way they do. And a great example of that is actually here on our insights module, which allows us in Adobe to say, users are dropping off, conversions dipping, there's a problem happening. I can move right into Content Square and proactively tell me exactly why that issue is happening. And we can immediately see here on our checkout page, we see there's a plethora of users coming across issues. We have 28 different customer issues that are occurring. And within that, we actually can immediately get a preview of them struggling with a particular field due to some challenges they're coming across. And right away, I can move from problem discoverability right into reproducing that customer's issue to then better analyze and understand, hey, when those customers are in this page, here's exactly what's happening within their experience. Here's what's broken. And lastly, within this type of a use case, Content Square can highlight for us that those users are struggling on that field 
due to some technical challenge that they're coming across. This is something that Content Square is really going to help support the Adobe customer suites with, because now they go from not just what's happening, why it's happening, and how to fix it. Okay, yeah. So Adobe's really good at showing you where things break, but, but, but you actually get a level deeper as to the why. That's exactly it. Okay. Now we could even take that out one level and we can take a step back. Because another great thing Adobe does is a lot of deep segmentation, right? Segmentation among customer bases, acquisition campaigns, and the rest of it. And what Content Square can actually do is natively integrate into Adobe and provide side-by-side -side analysis across a wide range of things you might be doing within there. One example of that is maybe I want to take a look at how some of my new customers are starting on their experiences within the, our platform. Or maybe I'm running and I'm in charge of pay-per-click. I can get a deeper insight, not just into a particular journey, but all the different customer journeys that occur simultaneously to better identify opportunities to improve, as well as, for example, in this case on my pay-per-click campaign, I can start to dig in deeper as to this high bounce rate that's occurring, and again, immediately segment those visitors and go into session replay to understand the why. Okay, yeah, and from what I understand, I've, I've talked to some Adobe customers here, and even some of yours, where they get a little frustrated by having to flip between the different screens, but you actually, so you actually take your data and import it into Adobe, giving them that true single pane of glass. That's correct, yeah, single pane of glass, and, and a lot of Adobe customers even go one step further where they'll do some execution, right? They have execution platforms with marketing campaigns and the rest of it. Content Square can help amplify that because what we can actually integrate into is for Adobe Target, for example, we can actually look at A-B testing and experimentation and personalization that a lot of organizations run and actually provide detailed insight into why tests happen the way they do, both on the what to test, but most importantly, why do tests really win or why do tests lose. Okay, so these are those insights that you really have no way of of, uh, of finding out actually without the analytics. That's exactly yeah, right, yeah. right? We're really a real detailed support layer underneath your current Adobe stack. Yeah, and what kind of benefits of a customer seen by using a combination of you and Adobe? Yeah, a great benefit is uh, they're able to be a lot more agile and nimble from just a process and change management standpoint, but a couple of tangible numbers is they've been able to recover lost revenue significantly faster by going from discoverability all the way down into root cause analysis extremely fast. And on the flip side, thinking about A-B testing, we actually have several customers who've actually generated significant uplift in those A-B tests I mean, in the upwards of seven, eight, nine million dollars a test. I mean, the scale wow. here is massive. Yeah, and that's through better personalization, right? Exactly. Yeah, I was interested in a main stage this morning, I can't remember who the speaker was, but they actually said that personalization leads to better loyalty. They, I mean, they had all the numbers to show that. That's so, exactly yeah, right, yeah. yeah. All right, great. well that was awesome. Thanks for, thanks yeah. for that demo. Thanks. Absolutely, anytime. Thanks. All right, well that was a great demo and that wraps up the ZK Tour. Uh, if you're here in Las Vegas, the Adobe Summit, come by, see what Content Square is doing. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time on another ZK Tour.